Every month, the Inmid team takes a look at their top picks from upcoming games. Hey folks, Mika here from the land of not on most world maps. After eating good on October, we're slowing down a bit for the next month. But here are some picks which we feel are worthwhile. Hey, listen! The Talos Principle 1 was a true gem of a first-person puzzle game. I remember playing the game on Steam back in 2014 and being mesmerized by the beauty of the world and the complexity of the puzzles on offer. The game meshed its intricate puzzles with various philosophical themes, such as the nature of consciousness and the role of AI, and honestly it kept me hooked. I kinda wasn't expecting a Talos Principle 2 to be announced this year. Games like these typically don't receive sequels after all. So I was pleasantly surprised by the announcement that it's coming out, and in this year too. The second game then appears to be a direct continuation of the first, and you can't help but wonder with how prevalent AI and digital technology is in our current era, what sort of questions the game will present to us. It's been a while since I played the first game, but I think it's finally time to dust it off and revisit in preparation for Talos Principle 2. If there's one thing you ought to know about the Moldavian gaming community, it's that we love our Call of Duty games. That said, I think many of us over here at least wised up on how Call of Duty wasn't quite delivering the high notes and fond memories of her yesteryear. However, when a new trailer drops for a Call of Duty game, we all can't help but be excited by it, especially with its apparently polished visuals and how it's continuing the story from the rebooted franchise. On the multiplayer side of things, we're getting all our usual favorites, from the favela to Skid Row and even High Rise, all with a new coat of paint. A lot of the older modes will be available for multiplayer with the addition of a new cutthroat mode, a 3 vs 3 vs 3 team mode where a player only has a single life, requiring the team to work carefully and quickly to overcome their opponents. All this backed by their warzone and zombies modes. Like I said, we like to think we'd wise up to buying what has arguably been an average experience for shooters, but we can't help but be excited for Modern Warfare 3. I'm a big fan of story-based games. I'm also a big fan of movies. Usually when these two meet, the results are questionable at best, but it doesn't stop me from wanting to see the fantasy of playing in the worlds of my favorite movies realized. And that brings us to Robocop Rogue City. Everything I've seen of this game so far makes it seem faithful to the original movie and its vibe, while bringing in a new story that walks the line between man and machine the way the movies do. The cutscenes also make it seem like the game is taking a stab at the over-the-top satirical tone of the original films. The gameplay looks like players will feel like an unstoppable wall of force. While it's not the more cautious approach to combat we see in other FPS games, considering who you're playing as, I think it works out. I am really looking forward to seeing what this game brings us when it comes out early November. Players bid farewell to Kazuma Kirigu as the series protagonist after Yakuza 6 Song of Life. Ichiban Kasuga was replaced as the franchise's new face and gameplay in 2020's Yakuza Like a Dragon. But Akiryu didn't go for long. He's back to take the lead in the newest spin-off, Like a Dragon Gaiden, the man who erased his name. Kiryu, who now works as a secret spy under the alias Joryu, has taken Osaka and Yokohama over the hustle and bustle of Kamurocho Tokyo. One aspect of the Yakuza franchise that I like is the action-based brawler combat with several fighting styles, and Like a Dragon Gaiden continues this trend. You can pick between two combat styles, Yakuza, an aggressive approach, and Agent, which I'm most excited about. This new style is speed-based, allowing Joryu to use devices to defeat opponents. The gadgets range from AI combat drones to cigarette-shaped bombs. Like a Dragon Gaiden takes place after Yakuza 6 and between the events of Yakuza Like a Dragon and Like a Dragon Infinite World. I'm excited to find out what Kiryu was up to and the events that took place. Among the many, many remakes of this era is Star Ocean The Second Story R. While a lot of HD remasters get the bare minimum treatment of functioning on wider screen than resolutions, Square Enix has not been so offhand with this one. Even when you look at graphics, it has been overhauled not only in HD but in their HD 2D style, with improved visual effects in combat. 
Battles themselves have been overhauled. You still have your ability to move, attack and use symbology in it, but we also get a few more additions. Enemies now also have the Square Enix patented break their defenses to stagger enemy system here, along with a dodge counter move where you can sneak in behind an enemy for an attack. And now, even your members off screen can come in to help when the appropriate assault gauge fills. Star Ocean 2 is considered by many to be one of the best in the series. My history with the series began with the third one though. And the younger me had a difficult time going back to the PSP version of Star Ocean 2. But here I am feeling like I should call out my younger self, cause I feel like Star Ocean the second story R might be my most anticipated pick for November. And those are our picks for November 2023. If you like our content and want more like this, give us a like and subscribe. But before you run off, here are some bonus picks. Song of Nunu on League of Legends Story is building upon why games will receive League of Legends spin-offs. This entry presents you with a story driven adventure centered around Nunu and his companion Willem, as they trek through the landscape in search for his mother. The Last Faith by Kumi Souls Games asks you the question, what if Bloodborne and Blasphemous had a baby? A dreary and bleak gothic setting, tough enemies and horrifying bosses bar your path in this 2D Metroidvania game that I for one definitely feel like might be worth keeping an eye on. Super Mario RPG Well, Super Mario isn't exactly on the top of the list when you think of RPGs. This blast from the past with its expansive look into the Mushroom Kingdom, its characters and its music composed by the Yoko Shimomura herself certainly left a mark in 1996. The remake is then set to once again attempt to capture that magic with its updated visuals and features, but whether it can deliver is yet to be seen. Persona 5 Tactica Atlas has not done milking Persona 5 just yet, as it's setting its sight on releasing an SRPG based on the title. If I sound salty about it, it's because I feel like they underdelivered with a certain dancing series in regard to their spin-offs. That's it, with a new story, new character, and all new mechanics, I'm sure it will delight Persona fans, but here's hoping they actually put some effort into it this time. Forest Grove The heir of a billion dollar tech fortune has suddenly disappeared. Foul play is suspected, and the game is afoot, Watson. It's up to you in this first-person detective adventure to uncover clues, find the evidence, and figure out what happened. And with that, here's Mika signing off. Bye. <laughs>